Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some of the products that I got from the Rouge Holiday Preview event that I just went to this morning. Um, another special shout out, I did meet a new subscriber. Um, she was, well, there wasn't really a line, and she and I were the first person there, so, or first people there, excuse me. Um, and so I just want to give a quick little shout out to Beautifully Dana, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so nice to meet you. Thanks for saying hello. Thanks for subscribing. The rest of you, thank you so much for your subscriptions. It means a lot to me that you guys even just sit here and watch my channel. Um, yeah, this to me is, it's just fun to sit and play with makeup and no drama and just look at the pretty shiny things. So today I'm going to show you my holiday, I call it my holiday haul. Um, this is the biggest haul I have ever purchased in my life um, and you can see that because for once in my life they gave me the big bag um, this I, I don't even know if they have a larger bag but this is the bag that I got <laughs> so for me I'm just kind of sitting here like oh my gosh yeah um, another thing excuse me another thing that I got was the with $75 purchase you got a, a bag from them it's polka dot it's like I wonder what fabric it's like a fake like a, a faux leather so like good good for being fake um, <laughs> but yeah so I got this bag along with it it's cute it's got little polka dots um, I already have enough bags according to my boyfriend I may or may not agree but um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one to my sister um, eventually I'll be doing giveaways today's not that day um, just when things start moving along, expect them. Uh, but yeah, I'll be giving this to my sister. I'm super excited to be able to gift it to her. So excited. Okay. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. It's a big bag. Oh, okay. So some of these things I'm not going to open entirely. Um, just because I do want to do, I do want to do separate videos on them. But you will get a sneak peek at the most expensive palette that I'm going to be reviewing in a video or two from now. This is the Natasha Denona Star Palette. Um, other than that, I'm just putting it in as a sneak peek that I am going to be reviewing this. This is the most expensive one I will be reviewing in my life probably. Who knows, they might create something. I don't know, I think once you get past $200, within a palette, my brain just kind of goes, no, <laughs> um, because there's so many palettes out there that are a fraction of the cost that perform the same, probably even have bigger pigment or better pigments. For example, the Jeffree Star Morphe uh, collaboration, that palette pigment, whoo, so good. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the most expensive one I review. I am so excited to get this filmed. Oh, it's going to be so good. Um, okay, so let's dive in a little bit more. I got dry shampoo for dark tones um, from Moroccan Oil. Uh, I'm just gonna, hopefully that focuses. Kind of. All right. Um, so a lot of the problems that I've been having with dry shampoo lately um, it has been the white cast. Um, I do like Batiste. It's very affordable and everything, but I haven't tried their for darker hair tones yet. Um, I do wanna go ahead, give this a shot and see how much I like it. Um, I do use Moroccan oil on the daily, so I have their shampoo, their conditioner, um, and a hair mask by them, which I'm starting to use. Um, other good news, uh, the hair show that I talked about in my last video, they did give me a call back, and so I will be in that hair show. So you may see me in a future video in October with crazy colored hair. I don't know. I'm super excited to see what they have planned to do with my hair. Um, I'm super excited to even just be with that salon and just get to experience being a hair model. This is just, it's so, so exciting. Oh, I was just so excited about it. Um, but yeah, so I will be in their hair show. I'm hopefully going to be able to do, do a vlog with them. That is my goal. But yes, for now, dark tone, dry shampoo to see. Hopefully there's not like a darker cast, um, but hopefully that works out. 
Okay, next. This is another thing I'm going to do a separate review on. So like another video to look out for. Um, this is the Christmas cookie house party and this is the Too Faced. They do a collection every holiday. This is, it's so cute. Um, when I looked at it in store, it, the, the 20 exclusive shadow palette, it opens up like a little book. Um, it's so cute. The other, like there's another one in here that's like six shadows and it's like pure glitter. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you the pigment on those. It's so beautiful, but yes. There that is. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to review this on the channel with you guys. It is so pretty. Ugh, I cannot wait. Ah! Okay, it's like, it's like a holiday for me. It's like Christmas for me. Excuse me, I'm gonna make myself more presentable. Um, next I got, I'm excited to try this one out. This is the Dr. Jart um, 7 Day Mask Experiment Kit. Ooh, this one uh, may have just popped open. Um, so in this, in this box, get it nice and pardon the glare um I have Dermask water jet vital hydra solution oh my gosh I can speak English um next one Dermask micro jet brightening solution um there's a clearing solution a soothing hydra solution a pore correcting I'm assuming that's pore correcting <laughs> that's an interesting one um, pore correcting solution and wrinkless solution so wrinkles as well as a peeling one so I don't know it's a seven day it doesn't say um, when to use each mask but it doesn't give you like a regimen on it which I'm kind of I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of bummed about so I don't know if I should do these in order or like start with the peeling one, get the layer of skin off, and then start going through all of them. I don't know, but I am excited to try this out. I'm actually gonna go ahead and open it. Ooh, yeah, okay, wow. <laughs> so there, ooh, all right. So all seven masks are in there. I do love the way that they have their, like, their design. Um, I shouldn't be so interested. Like, they look like little vitamins. Or like other pills, yeah, vitamins. We'll say vitamins. We're a family channel. Oh, um, <laughs> they look like vitamins in the like on the packaging. Um, but I am excited to give this a shot. I'm probably gonna do this. Oh, gee, I have a wedding to go to at the end of the month, so I'll probably try this the week of the wedding just to make sure that if there's any crazy skin problems that come from it, that it doesn't affect the hair show that I'm in. But yeah, I am super excited to be trying these out. Hopefully it gives some good results. Um, I may even do a separate review, maybe like a vlog style. Um, yeah, that's, oh, I love sheet masks. Like there is something so peaceful about forcing your, like it forces you to calm down. So like I put on a sheet mask and I just go lie down. It forces you to, I mean, you can read, you can look at your phone, you can listen to music, yada yada. But like, if you turn it into a meditation time, it turns into more of like a self care, if you will. Um, so I, I love sheet masks. I'm so excited to do that. It's my meditation time, time to be quiet with myself. Maybe think about the things that I have to do in the upcoming week or, or like the day of or day after. Um, yeah, super excited for that. Next, oh man, got so much stuff. Um, this is the NARS Studio 54 Cheek Palette. And this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually pop this one open too, if I can get it open. Open, open please. Oh, oh I didn't even know. Um, I have a terrible habit of like looking at whatever display palette they have and like sometimes judging like I'm gonna get that because that packaging is super cute which is a terrible thing do not do that um <laughs> please go buy the formula <laughs> 
But this uh, packaging for NARS' Studio 54 palette, like, this is gorgeous. Super cute. Um, yeah, so this is their, it's like a blush and uh, one of them looks more like a highlighter shade. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show that. So I'm excited to use that. I don't actually have a lot of blush. I have plenty, plenty of highlighters. Um, don't have a lot of blush. I, I get a little nervous when it comes to blush because I'm like, what if I put on some like insane shade that just makes me look like a painted doll? I don't know why I'm so neutral when it comes to those, but that's life. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited to try this out. When you're in like, the glitter seems to be stuck on here well, which I kind of like. I get a little weary about um, glittery outside palettes, like if you don't have the glitter down packed, um, that they kind of just like rain glitter on all the things in your makeup drawer. Uh, <laughs> so that I'm a little more cautious about things like that. But honestly, if if even that was the case, I would hope that the formula would be good. Um, so. Yeah, I can't wait to give this a shot to see how it goes. Love it. Love it. Okay, next. Oh, here is the little, um, so like everybody that went, oh, that's cute. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I'm just in an ADD moment. So everybody that went to the event this morning got these little, um, little keychain tassels, which I'm excited about. It's another like faux leather. I think this is, yeah, it's faux leather. I'm just making sure I'm like, uh, um, faux leather keychain. And this cute little tassel is definitely going to go on my keys. Not that I need another keychain, but like, it's nice to have another key ring when needed. It's just cute. So yeah, I'll be throwing that in. All right. <laughs> Next. Let's see, I have the Treat Yourself. Um, this is by Bite. So I got, it's like a small mini kit. Let me get this closer. No, focus on this. Here we go. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> so this is the All Agave three piece lip care set. So we have a mini agave, it's a daytime lip balm. A nighttime therapy so it's like a thicker more mask like and then a lip mask as well um, so it's just a lot of intensive hydration I actually have a autoimmune condition where like part of it affects my lips so like to keep them moisturized is really important for me so that's just how I keep it um, I'm, I can't wait to try it out I am a fiend about lipsticks and lip balms. I am your average person that like will probably only finish one chapstick in her lifetime. The rest of them they get lost. I don't know where they go. I think there's some kind of like gremlin that comes in. Um, but yes, cannot wait to try that out. Cannot wait to have like constant hydration happening on my lips. That's how I need to live the life. All right. Oh, yes. Okay, this one, um, this one I already have in the rollerball that I keep in my purse because it's such a good scent. It's like sweet but spicy. Um, this is Prada Candy, and I'm sorry about the glare. Um, Prada Candy, and I finally got the perfume. Every time I get perfume, I try and do like, I try and start small. So either I'll get a sample, or if I know that I'm going to like it enough, I will go ahead and get the rollerball. Cause you really don't know, like you don't want to buy a whole bottle right off the bat. You need to kind of know how your body chemistry will react with that fragrance. Um, so I just like to be a little more careful, um, more just out of consideration for myself. Um, myself comes first. Uh, my boyfriend is second, like, ooh, do you like this scent, honey? Um, I like to get his opinion cause obviously I don't want to smell like garbage. Uh, and have him be like, uh, I do not like, yeah, yeah. Um, and then thirdly, uh, I also work in, an, excuse me, I work in a corporate environment, so I can't have too strong of a scent going on. I don't want to disturb coworkers, be like, what is that strong perfume? Or people with asthma, 
Um, I do have a couple of them where I'm like, okay, these are not work appropriate scents. These are more like go partied up or date night kind of a scent. Um, but I do, I do try and take that into consideration just to be considerate of the people that have allergies, asthma, whatever name you. Um, I would rather them not have a headache because of something that I wore. Um, yeah. Mm. Oh shoot, I don't even know I got that. Oops. Okay. Uh, next I have the Laura Mercier uh, Caviar Du Jour Mini Caviar Stick Collection. Um, these are eyeshadows and these, well I guess you can use them on other like highlighting and all of that. Um, I am excited to see this one. I actually want to open this one up and swatch a couple. They are really cute. Ooh, pop out. Super cute little minis. Um, this would be perfect to just put in your purse uh, if you need like a quick... Oops, I forgot I still have dry shampoo on my hand. No big deal. Um, so, oh. Ooh, okay, sorry. It's my first time swatching these and I got them because they were mini because I was like, low commitment. <laughs> but wow, okay, what's the shade name of this? Is there even a shade name? Boo, all right, hold on. I don't even think they're in order. Well darn, okay, sorry, I don't have a shade name for you. Oh. Duh, sorry, it's on there. <laughs> um, intense Moonlight, this, sorry if I can get up a little bit closer. Focus. It's kind of, yeah, this is so cute. I'm sorry you can't really tell, I'm, I'm a little bit pale, so colors don't really show up on me the best, um, but this is a cute, cute color. It is, excuse me, um, that was really creamy, <laughs> like just swatching on the back of my hand. So I'm super excited to play with these, have these in my purse, have a quick like 10 second eyeshadow if I need it. I like to have products that are quick, um, that make the morning go fast. I am trying to like wear makeup to work a little bit more now and look, look a little bit more polished. Um, so that to me, like anything that can make the day go faster or the morning go faster, um, that's what I, that's what I need to do. Uh, so yeah, I'm super excited to play with these more. One of them even looks more like a smoky eye kind of a color. So yeah, that's super cute. I'm so excited, that was so creamy. Okay, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm rushing through all of this, there's just so much. Yes, there's so much. Um, okay, next. I wanted to go to, a, bleh, excuse me, English is hard. Go ahead and do some of the lip products that I got. Um, so this is, I'm sorry, let me get this up close. This is Artist Couture. And this is the Diamond Lip Tease. This is a lip gloss. And oh my gosh, this is like, oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Like, oh my gosh, it's. When they say diamond lip teas, I swatched this on in the store and was immediately like, whoo, when I want a glitter lip gloss, this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And not only that, ooh, it's like a, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess they really don't, uh, downside to this, I didn't expect this, okay. There's usually like a squeegee kind of thing with inside the tube um, that will take off excess product. I don't know if they like forgot to put it on or something, but it's like, it's thick on here. Um, yeah, I'm still gonna go ahead and swatch it. It's such a pretty, pretty sheen. I wish you could see it a little bit better on my skin. You can kind of see that gloss there. It's a pinker gloss. It's got, ooh, yeah, that, that kind of bothers me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, ooh, did that just? Okay, ooh, sorry everybody. Um, it's a pinker gloss and it's got little flecks, little like holographic flecks. So it's got some like pinks and purples 
and gold in there. That is a more pink tone gloss. I did also get one in, um, I'm not going to say the shade name because it is not appropriate for all ages. Um, the first one was Sugar Baby. The next one I'm not going to say because I don't think it's appropriate. <laughs> but it is a gold. I will list it, you know what, I'll list it in the com or the comments. I will list it in the description below. Um, but this one, this one's a little more of a gold. Oh! Interesting. This one has the squeegee, so I'm wondering, wondering what happened. Maybe it got stuck. Oh no. Maybe it did. No, they didn't have one. Oh God. Oh, that's not good. Sorry, everybody. Oh man, the things that happen. Get that off my hand. Okay, so the gold one came with a squeegee. I'm gonna have to be more careful with that one. I don't know. It's just more of like, do I want to drive the 20 minutes or so to exchange for a better one? Decisions. <laughs> um, the gold one. Oh my gosh, this one definitely more of a yellow gold. And it's also super, super cute. I wish you could see that better. Um, it's this one right here. This one was a more pink one. This one is a more yellow toned gold one. I love it. Um, oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm still, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit salty. Make sure your quality assurance is there. Oh my gosh. I, yeah. Wow. Okay. That's life. Life happens. All right. Let's move on. Um, and then lastly for the lip products, I have the shade, uh, excuse me, I have the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Gloss lac lacquer, 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 English is a hard time for me today, isn't it? Uh, get this out of this box, ooh, okay. Um, this one I liked, this one I can wear a little more on it every day, every day kind of a... I don't want to say schedule. I don't even know. Um, but I can wear this one every day. I can wear it to work. It's It does have its little squeegee thing. So that's cool. Uh, I don't know. I'm just sitting here like, hmm, now it's like, it's either I go over. Okay. Girl, stop obsessing. Um, I like this one. I can wear this one to work every single day. It is a, it's definitely a high shine. Um, let's see. Let's put this. Sorry, pardon the barking. You're okay. My dog is actually lying on the bed behind the camera, so it's actually really cute. He's sleeping right now, so hopefully he stays asleep and doesn't start barking. Um, so this lip gloss, I have I got a lot of lip gloss. <laughs> Past couple times I've been, I've been on a lip gloss pick. Um, so this one is called Some Girls, and this is the pinker shade up here. And this one, I'm super excited. I can wear it to work every day. It's super, like, ooh, no, they got on my nose. <laughs> super comfortable. Uh, it's kind of got, there's like some mint kind of smell to it. So I like that as well. I do like mint. So it'll also kind of give like, a, I think it'll give some kind of more of like a plumping effect. So I like that. And then lastly, I went ahead. This is the last on their shelf, I went ahead and got the cookie highlighter from Benefit. This one, like, I've looked at a lot of their other um, products, their other like box styles of these, and I like for a while I was kind of sitting there like, okay, like, cute, but in my brain I'm like, I'm not purchasing that. Um, but they came out with a cookie highlighter. Oh, it even has a little mirror. And I was just like, girl, like this camera does not do this highlighter justice at all. <laughs> In fact, I may even see if it shows up on camera. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay, I was hoping it smelled like cookies, but it doesn't, it doesn't I, I tried. <laughs> Wow, oh 
okay. Whew. This is a good highlighter. This was like, that was barely even a swipe. And it just, wow, 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 okay. How many times can I say wow? This highlighter, oh my gosh. Like, I know my viewfinder is small, but it is like, boom, on the viewfinder. So if this comes off as like obnoxious, sorry, but not sorry. Wow, wow, all righty. So that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Um, honestly, <laughs> biggest haul of my life. And I can't wait to start reviewing the other products, especially the Too Faced, the Christmas Cookie House Party, as well as the Natasha Denona Star Palette. That will be in a video probably most likely titled The Most Expensive Palette I Have Ever Reviewed. And I'm just so happy you could sit here with me today and just kind of soak all of this in, have a little me time, go, this is a beautiful Saturday, go put on a face mask, do something for you today that makes you feel fantastic. Even if it's just taking something as simple as your lip gloss or your lip balm, slap some of it on, take care of you. So thank you again so much for watching. If you like what you see, please give this channel, excuse me, Give this channel a share on your favorite social media. Also, like, comment, subscribe. I love having more of you in my subscriptions. It's just, I don't know why. It's not even like, it's not even a numbers game for me. It's just fun to sit down and hang out and review shiny products. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for watching. I know this is like the fifth time I've said thank you. But thank you again. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I think my last video got 300 views. It's probably more than 300 now. Um, so to all the viewers that went ahead and gave that, that was the Moroccan oil uh, color depositing mask. For all of you that went over to watch that video, if you haven't, please go check it out. I'll list it in the description below. But thank you so much. Like this feels so good. Thank you. Ah, everybody have a wonderful Saturday. Take care. Bye.